Hello everyone and thanks for visiting Bluebeam Back to Basics. Today we'll be talking about text box enhancements in Review 20. For those of you I have not met personally, you can reach me at that phone number and email address and we encourage you to visit our website where you can learn all about our Bluebeam training program. I've got my screen split in half with Review 2019 on the left and Review 20 on the right. I have an identical file open with one text box that I'm in the middle of editing. And I've also got the properties panel open in each interface. So let's take a look at text box manipulation in review 2019. If I go and select that box and go to the properties panel, when I go to shape, I can toggle between rectangle or circle or triangle. Let's compare that to review 20. When I go to shape, I've got the same rectangle, circle, or triangle, but now we've also got a new hexagonal shape as well. In addition, if I go back to review 2019 and I right click on that markup, this is the list of manipulations that I can do to it. If I then come to review 20 and click on that same markup, these are the list of manipulations I can perform, and something new is this add leader line. Now, with a text box, you can add a leader line, and as you scroll it around, it'll dynamically jump to whichever control point you'd like to put that with. You can right-click on it again and add another, add another, delete a couple, but a brand new capability in Review 20. And lastly, I'll talk about the impact of choosing auto size in both interfaces. This is a multi-line piece of text in this text box, and if I go to the Properties panel, it's Helvetica font and font size 12. I can, however, turn on the Auto button, and when I do that in Review 2019, it immediately minimizes the font to fit the available size of the text box boundary. Now, even though it has put my text on a single line and shrunk it to fit, it does technically scale if I adjust the boundary, but it's just not the behavior I'm looking for. Let's try it in Review 20. In Review 20, I've also got this initially set up with Helvetica and Font Size 12, but the new behavior is such that when I hit Auto, it doesn't automatically shrink it to a single line to fit it. Now, it allows me to grab it and modify it, and it will adjust the text font size to accommodate the size of the boundary. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful, and you'll review the other videos available as well.